Hello team, good morning. My name is Venkat. In the previous session we have discussed, uh, in part 1 we have discussed that what are the basic steps that we need to check when primary set and secondary set replications fail. So now we will check uh, a bit more advanced but I recommend that uh, this, uh, these steps are not not recommended to implement in your production but just it is good to know that's all if you want you can try and lab once you got confident then if you understand the concept then yeah please proceed to implement as per your own risk okay let's jump into the topic in the last time what we have discussed is like uh, we have checked that uh, the services are running or not okay first thing is always uh, check the sites our services are running or not okay and oh okay it's completely failed now okay uh, we have checked that um, from this console from this wizard only you can get more information right so as i said that is it problem with the um, sending data and receiving data too or is it problem to receiving data here when you see child data is unable to send the data to parent setter that is what you can understand from here from a link file okay but here the link is active that means parent is a parent means your primary set is completely fine it is able to send the data okay there is no issues so you can see all this here and you can see some are question marks so that means some issues are there see okay initialization data this is okay replication these are completely filed okay so let's see what it is um, and also we have checked uh, if I'm not wrong we have checked already uh, mp.log it is always better to check mp.log mpcontrol.log sorry okay we check replication we didn't see anything data moving and now we are going to check mpcontrol.log looks like received stop notifications that's all see configuration and availability monitor that stopped okay so <clears throat> first let's try to start the threads you can do this one go to any of your component which is failed go down go down go down go down for example let's say for example click mp okay you can click on start here configuration manager service manager just click on this and then it will connect to your secondary site once you connected here you just expand your components and find your suspension thread smsmp and then query it and see it's stopped okay let's try to start it okay that means see start or resume sms execute and again try again it's fail okay so sms execute is not starting that is what they said okay actually what you have found is like uh, when you go to your secondary site you notice that okay this is not uh, this mp is not running because of that uh, sql is signal to stop so what you have tried you went to your secondary site your sm console and and you connected you use the configuration manager service manager and you connect to your secondary site then you connected the specific thread from here and then you right click first you need to query it that means you are checking that is this thread is running or stop mode for now this is stop mode okay let's start it but still error okay 
So what it says from error from this warning message at least we can understand something. What it says that SMS executive must be running. That means it may it means SMS executive is not running on that server. Simple. Go to secondary side server. Go to your services. See disable. Let's click on properties. Put automatic. Applying. Start. Click OK. And that's all. Now see. If still now not running, then it, now you go. But however, yeah, it's running. See. Started. Successfully started. If you want to do the same steps here now, just do it. Now query. See. Now you can see that it is running okay if you want to stop it and query it stop start again query it it's running that's all your problem solved so most of the time you can see what is the issue from your SSEM console that's how it designed and you can use your component status or st site status and from that you can see what is the error exactly if you feel that the threads are not running then you just find which thread is not correctly running from here and use the configuration manager service manager to query it either the thread is stopped or not if it is a stopped mode just run it then it will work out that's all okay if you see if still let's say let's go to SQL see now go to your database replication okay now it's back to active right let's say still this is a failed mode okay you can see replication details are failed here okay if these replication groups are failed so you want to initiate how you are going to initiate First, you need to check what is the status of this one. We all know this SPDAC DRS data replication status. This is nothing but a stored procedure, nothing new. Okay, see here replication groups are there, right? One of them, which one is failed actually? You can see that from site replication status. Let's say replication configuration data only fail this one only fail this one will create very less size data okay so if completely this one failed and you have done your level best but you didn't see any good result okay then you can use the pub file to reinitiate this one just copy it control c Okay, if you use this one secondary side data, this will uh, this will trigger very big size data. Secondary side data means it it will uh, what it will do is like it will gather all the information which are related to your secondary side data and it will make as a package and that package. For example, let let me try it. Let me try it. Yeah. Okay, this one it will it will make a separate package and this package will send to your secondary side data okay and once it is go there then it will execute and it will try to build the new data and then it will start the replication that's how it works okay so it will take long time if you if you try to get uh, secondary side data if you if you try to drop the dot pub file is uh, about the second side data so before you're dropping dot pub file please make sure that is it really really required okay or else you can you can troubleshoot you can do troubleshoot for, from remaining things you need to focus on that okay uh, so if you want to do drop files dot copy go to your secondary side server go to your inbox open your rcm inbox ok 
okay nothing is there right right click new test document I want to see extension right click new paste dot pv file okay click next before you are clicking next where is your primary site okay okay let's see yes just refresh it's gone now you can see that that one see so whenever this one is running then it will go to the maintenance mode please remember this whenever you are for example let me run this one then you can see maintenance mode because you drop the profile so what it clearly see you can see it see now it says package created okay and it is in maintenance mode just remember ah, what ugly color which one good let me click this okay sorry I'm using this one first time please maintenance mode and then package created until this come active this become active this will be in maintenance mode only so don't be afraid about this one once this is active that means once it will package once this one mac as a package creation done then it will send that package and then it will turn into the active mode that's how it works let's execute one more time because it is very simple file see active active done you can see it from here also refresh done okay let me drop this one how it works you, if you want to see that what is the size and all then you can go to dot in box you can see all that copy I copied this secondary site data now I'll go to secondary site okay let me drop this one refresh new this document paste yes okay it's gone you can see here actually see our same inbox some stupid dropper that uh, file it's saying so that BCP files everything is copied please call don't call me SSIM uh, that's all see auto client okay I didn't enable I didn't enable this one okay see it's everything from starting onwards it's taking all the data and it's again updating all the tables that is what exactly going on see pending creation still it is in pending creation okay that that uh, that information is from uh, last pv file now it is still package creation is pending it need to create once package created then it will show that package created and then once it is package created, then it will move to the mm, second side. If you want to see sender dot log, okay. Let's see any LAN is processing. So for nothing, okay. And Mm -hmm. Okay. 
waiting for ready instruction this one old one see display successful executed one instruction yes we know what else we want package created and package sending sent already done oh it's very fast because it is lab right so that is the reason it is very quick to very hurry to send so i think by this time it's already execute pending application okay i think this is the time you can see here okay initialization detail just refresh I should say that forty percent. It will start like that, since it is lab. It's quick, very fast. Mm. Okay, see all active. Outgoing message in queue only six. No complex records. Incoming is very three. All good. It back to active. So that's the reason when you are dropping the pub files, please make sure that is it really, really required. If it is not, please do not do this. Okay. So it's a last resort actually. If if there is no other option to say fix your secondary, then yeah, you have checked service are working or not. You have checked that uh, uh, primary site machine site server is has uh, admin rights or not on the secondary. Okay, you have checked everything, and firewall ports ports are opened or not. You check one by one, and you check the component status. You can check it site status. Everything you tried, and configuration manager, service manager, you try to restart the threads. You did all the job. Even after also, it is unable to fix. Then yeah, as a last resort, you can try. But again, please make sure. you try you understand the concept and then you implement in your production if it is really required thank you thanks for watching ha huh, i just second ha huh, see successfully bulk copied okay good removing old data of course oh, removing old data for global table yes because it will take the all new data now processing replication pattern good summarizing all replications good good that's all good okay now it turn as normal hopefully you enjoyed my video thank you thanks for watching have a nice day i'll come with new video tomorrow thank you